there's a six billion dollar secondary for staff at OpenAI, um, and a lot of them are going to make great money uh, at scale. What do we think of staff secondaries at this level of scale, which is in the multiple hundreds, if not low thousands now, or low thousand, um, getting this level of secondary? First, start there. Good for them, and it's you know uh, they. I mean. And it probably speaks, look, again, it speaks to willing buyer, willing seller, a couple of things, and informed buyer. And it also speaks to, look, give, we've talked about this, given the competitive pressure that Meta has exerted on AI salaries by being willing to offer people cash positions, you know, allegedly, and I haven't, you know, 10 to $100 million. If you're sitting there in open AI, yeah, you can talk about the mission till you're blue in the face, but it's going to help a lot if you can also take off 10 million bucks. So you're going home. I mean, you know, because it's all over. One thing I've learned about large amounts of money, as I see this in acquisitions, is one of my rules is this. What people say they'll do when faced with a large amount of money is meaningless and bears no relevance either way to what they'll actually do. Predicting who wants to sell their company based on what they say in the abstract is a waste of time. When you get, so taking these offers, when you get the 10 million or $100 million offer from Meta, it rocks you back, I'd say. And you know, you go home, you talk to your spouse, do we want to do this? This changes the rest of our life. And that's real competition. So if you're open AI, you know, you can preach the mission, but at some point you got to match the dollars. And that's, I mean, you know, if you think about it, $6 billion, it's only 60, $100 million engineers. It's only 600, $10 million engineers. I mean, stunningly, you know, to, to Zuckerberg's comment, it ain't that much, which is hilarious, but wow. <laughs> 